Wrestling has been working on that a lot. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's out! Oh, Whoa! Power from Charles oh, Oliver! Another knockout! Whoa. His second of the year! This guy continues to get it done! Oh. Big right from Gaethje! And down Whoa. goes Vic! Justin Gaethje is back! Haymaker from Lee. Yeah, the fight hunches connect in every time. Oh, gonna watch that neck! This Kevin is Lee, cut down. This is bad. Here, he's gonna... Oliveira forces the tap! Charles Oliveira, another submission! Taking some leg damage, these boys. Yeah, Gaethje with some... Oh, he got him with a roll! May 7th, UFC lightweight champion Charles de Bronx Oliveira. Não vou ser uma lenda, irmão. Eu vou fazer história, sabe? Who aims to end Oliveira's historic run? Charles Oliveira by submission. This is terrible. That's it. There's the tap. There's Charles Oliveira in the undisputed. Eu sou brasileiro, mas esse cinturão é todos nós. Once a bright-eyed collegiate wrestler. Good, I have another slip. Good. Beautiful game. The right to compete for the lightweight belt was likely at stake in Gaethje's next fight. Oh! oh. Couple oh, big rights for Chandler! Oh! oh. Justin oh, just hurt him! Justin hurt oh. him! Chandler got hurt with an uppercut! Woo! Are you having fun? Oh, yeah! Right hand over the top, lands flush for Gaethje. Oh! oh! Uppercut! Oh, nice left hook. He never panics. Push him back! Push him back! Wow, what a fight. Justin! Yeah! Who else? Justin Gagey, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Gagey would remain in Las Vegas to witness firsthand. The moment is upon us. Oh! Oh, Justin hurt him quick. Trying to drag Poirier to the ground here. Oh, oh my goodness. So I'm not there, Because Charles Oliveira is the slickest submission artist. He's oh, got it! Oh, Charles Oliveira! You had to look far and wide to find it. Pro athletes on our roster picking this man to win. Termina a mão por da perna, termina a perna por do mão. Isso! Todas as vezes eu falo, esses caras nunca vão bater tão forte como os caras batem daqui. Ao meu comando, fogo! Rápido pro meio, sobe cabeça! Acreditando 100% na mão, porque é só isso que ele tem em uma mão. Tender seeks his place in the annals of history. Oliveira, and I will be stepping in there. Oh my God! Oh, 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 I'm so proud to represent the United States of America against Brazil's top martial artist. What's up? What's up? Life has been very isolated. I didn't take any time. I didn't take a vacation. Perfect. I'm too old for that. Shit. This is uh, the last hurrah, so I'm taking no shortcuts. Good workout, huh? They say when you get a haircut on this TV show, that you it's bad luck and you lose. What? <laughs> Come on, man. I don't believe that. <laughs> I think she'll be fine. Yeah. Better win this next fight. I got money on it. I got a lot more than you on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look good, feel good, play good.
Justin Gaethje, thank you so much for joining me. University of Northern Colorado's wrestling room. What were you like as a college student? Obviously, you were working hard as a wrestler, but we know that wrestlers like to have a good time as well. The education always took a back seat. So, you know, I, I look back, that wasn't uh, the best thing for me, but you know, it's, it's why I'm here. It's why I'm fighting for the UFC, about to fight for a world title. If you were to tell Justin Gaethje, who was going to practice in this room, that you would be a part of one of the greatest fights in UFC history, the one that took place at Madison Square Garden at UFC 268, yeah. like, how would you have reacted back then? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think uh, I would have believed you. you know, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want the information. I don't think I'd be here if I knew then Interesting. what I know now. You know that would, I, don't, I think um, how I'm doing it and how I've done it is exactly how I want to do how I, I want it to play out. He talks about your heavy hands. He gives you a lot of credit and says that's your biggest threat. But for you, when you look at this matchup, I mean, what weapons have to be the sharpest? He's going to have to find me, you know, making a mistake, overreaching, and take and try to get into a grappling situation. Outside that, he better be praying every day that he gets me to the ground. Because if not, it's going to be same night as Chandler except five rounds. And if I went five rounds with Chandler, he would have died. And that's the truth. So I'm glad we didn't go five rounds. Touchdown on Sunday. We got a couple days. We're gonna go check in and get situated. Charles is gonna get booed for sure. As I would get booed in Brazil. This is my home state, my hometown. So yeah, I have a home field advantage, but I'm not gonna take it for what it is or anything until after the fight. Look good, feel good, play good. On the green. That's a long way from the flag, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Golf's one of my favorite sports, and I'm playing with six six other people, and I bet all of them. So. I'll take a bar, let's go! Leading up to the fight, I never want to get there too late. I don't like to rush. I like to get there and enjoy every second. You're walking in the hallway, it's quiet. Uh, you can hear the people, you can hear the music. Take time, baby. But probably like 15, 20 feet, you can see the lights flashing. And then right when you enter that arena, it's just, the energy is, is incredible. and. It's game time. You're 29 years old and you're slurring when you talk, bro. So, um, no, I'm not going to stand like a and, and, fight, and fight the You're going to run like a You are going to get slept. You're going to get knocked out within three rounds for sure. Oh! Big run from Gigi and down goes Finn. You know, in order to see something, you have to process it, and process it as a thought. You know, you cannot react when you're having a thought. So it's just pure reactions and pure instincts. Justin Gaethje with his ultimate highlight. To catch 22 because it kind of ruins things in life that should be extraordinary because it's an unmatched feeling. You cannot put it into words. Well, I could do I could put it into a backflip. And I just try to get it. <laughs> That's the only thing I got. You know, it's either that or sit there and pull my hair out. I want to know if he's in the corner, I want to know if he's going to go front, he's going to go front. If he's going to go front, I'll hit him in front with the car. If he's going to go front, I don't have to say it. We're going to know now, at 7. The dream of a kid is to come to your house, to have a good house, and to see everything that God is realizing in my life. To show the people that if you dream of the truth, you will be able to reach it. Chandler working off of that jab early. Oh! Knocked down for Oliveira now! Now a knee to the body for Charles and a right hand! Chandler oh, retains it! Now Chandler is down! Oh, Charles Oliveira! But he's got to be careful here because Oliveira is going to take his back. Oh wow, he had his leg locked in a terrible position there and he's forced to tap just from taking his back. Will is barely staying conscious here. There's a tap. That's it. We got him. What a reaction from the team. Oh, he's trying. 
Oh. Is it behind the head yet? Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. There's the tap. Wow. Charles Oliveira oh. does it again. Wow. Body kick. Oh. Big right from Oliveira. Hammer fist. Nick Lentz is down. Charles Duprox Oliveira doesn't wrap him up. He knocks him out. belongs to Charles Oliveira. Oh, and he said, oh. he said he did not want to get his back, and right now, Dubronx is jumping on his back. He has got to change his position right now. He oh. oh. Still, Oliveira. Charles Oliveira. Boa noite, Brazil. Celebrate your guy. Yeah, so we're five minutes from the Airbnb. Aaron Simpson got a hold of my coach, Ben Cherrington, and said he had a place for us to work out. So you want to play music in here? Busca. O legado é nosso. Vamos continuar no legado. Charles vai reinar por muitos anos. Eu vou redobrar minha fé. Sei o que Deus quiser. É vontade e atitude pra prosseguir. Sabe, e, e você poder escutar a música que fala da sua história, você com certeza te dá um gás a mais, te dá um up a mais, dá vontade de chorar. Charles, as pessoas olham para ele como o mais violento, o mais perigoso cara na divisão. Você vê ele assim? Falar não faz diferença nenhuma. Se todo mundo que falasse fizesse, era de massa se a gente colocar um papagaio aqui. Eu vim aqui para fazer. Ele parece que ele está muito hurt, mas parece que ele é o mais perigoso. Como você pode circumvente esse tipo de challenge? Sim, eu quero dizer, isso é normal para um lutador. Quando você escolhe lutar sobre a luta, That's the, that's the only way. And speaking about yourself, I mean, as you said, the circumstances vastly different, opponent vastly different, but anything that you took out of that first time that you said, man, I screwed this up, I should have approached it differently, yeah. you know, lessons learned? A tactic was going to be to evade, and that was the first and only time I've ever had that mindset, and, you know, it won't happen on Saturday. If he marches through me, then good for him, but I won't be moving backwards. You've certainly seemed to touch a, a chord with him a little bit with some of the stuff you've been saying. I mean, when he was in here 20 minutes ago, he, he promised a collision, and he said, quote, guys are just not getting the picture, and I wonder your response. Yeah, I, I create car crashes, and I am the object with the most force. Man, he is so on point with weight, so we got to have a little bit more fun. We got to keep the engine going a little harder and stay sharp. That's wonderful. I did about a 40 minute workout, just keep the body sweating. I can't remember a Wednesday when I felt this good with this much energy. That's it. Wonderful. Confidence is everything and it's giving me confidence. I'm gonna perform, I know it. here in Justin's backyard. You're, you're not used to getting booed. Uh, I guess does that make the experience any different for you or is part of you kind of like playing the bad guy? Vamos fazer uma guerra. O importante é ser com a vitória no final de tudo isso. You've seen Charles' striking improve over the years, certainly, but I guess where would you rate his striking at this point and do you believe he's going to be willing to stand to trade with you at all? Now we're talking about a man with confidence. One of the best in the world. The champion right now. Can't wait to take what he has. This will be my biggest accomplishment. I will say it over and over. How will you look to mitigate his reach while evading his sharp Muay Thai skills? Yeah, I got, I got the best coach in the world, and we work on the basics every day. It's creating angles, controlling distance. Uh, that's the most, most important factor in a fight, is who's going to control the distance. And I have to win that battle. Make it as fun as possible, and we'll probably go for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna release it over to Ben. You know, we will uh, get a good workout in, and then get in the sauna and sweat it out. 
it's crazy. Everyone always says that cliche is the best damn to look, but to be honest with you, he looks freaking damn good. You ready? Are we ready to go in here, Zach? All right, thank you all for being here for the official way for UFC 274. 155 and a half for Charles Oliveira. Charles will have one hour to cut the final half pound. 155 and one half pounds. The current weight for the champ, Charles Oliveira. The number one ranked lightweight contender, Justin, the highlight is 155, the official weight for Justin Gaethje. Charles, obviously this isn't the result you wanted. How did we get here on weigh-in day? Eu fiz de tudo porque eu sou o campeão. O campeão tem, tem que fazer de tudo para bater o peso, mesmo que eu já tivesse batido. Eu fiz de tudo, eu me sacrifiquei, eu fiz tudo, só que a balança nem me enchia. As pessoas falam, ah, tá se achando, não é se achar. Eu sou diferenciado nessa categoria. Oh! Chandler is down! Oh, Chandler's in real trouble! Favela, mais uma vez, não venceu. Pode chorar, mas chora de alegria, porque ele tá com a gente hoje. But any athlete that I'm gonna fight is gonna be super dangerous. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, it's over! This guy has a war mentality. Yo! Oh, big right from Oliveira! Quando eu bato, eles sentem. Justin's in trouble. It's under the neck! I gotta punch a hole in his face. Justin, the highlight! Gage! Official weight, 155 for the challenger! Official weight, 155.5. Charles Oliveira has missed weight and will vacate the U.S. Lightweight Championship once tomorrow's fight begins. That shit doesn't matter. It's not going to affect one thing tomorrow night. I'm here to knock him out. I was here to knock him out before he didn't make weight. I fucking think it's ridiculous, but here I am. I'm going to knock his ass out. I promise. O campeão se chama Charles Oliveira, o Charles do Bronx. This thing's happened. You can't explain God. The champion has a name, and it's Charles Oliveira. I'm going to, I'm going to chalk the world tomorrow. All right, good luck to you, Mr. Oliveira. We'll see you tomorrow night. The record book for the all-time greats is being written in real time. Oh! Charles Oliveira! Tonight, as the UFC returns to the Valley of the Sun, an Arizona native... We're not afraid! Oh! Justin Gaethje! My philosophy is to be mentally and physically as, as ready and capable. It's UFC 274. Right now. Dateline Phoenix. Earlier tonight, the men on the marquee made their way to the arena. Out of the blue corner tonight, popular challenger Justin the Highlight Gaethje. And if you know Charles Oliveira, you know he has no problem coming into the belly of the beast. The show the show, Sean O'Malley, and perhaps the number one pound for pound. UFC lightweight champ Charles Oliveira will not go home to Brazil with that distinction after failing to make weight, for they are here to support their guy, who quite frankly is easy to back. To one of the most famous Mexican songs of all time, El Rey by Vicente Fernandez. Gaethje grew up in Safford, Arizona, about three hours east of Phoenix. <laughs> And in the strengths column, there was one word listed, heart. One inch the gap in height, you see we highlight the weight miss for Charles Oliveira, who will have a four-inch reach advantage. Oliveira! When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch now is the time. God bless. Gaethje in blue, Oliveira in the black and gold, oh, putting a champion. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh, big left from Gaethje. Gaethje. Clipped him again. Landing the right hand. Oh! Big knockdown with the right oh! for Oliveira. This Oliveira is just... Oh, my goodness. Gaethje's out. 
He can't let him take his back. Oh, my goodness. What just happened? He's going to go to sleep. Oh, my goodness. He's going to do it. Charles Oliveira. That's the best lightweight in the world. <laughs> I don't know what changed. This dude here, though, Something is just, I mean, he's next up. Watch right here. He gets hurt bad. I yes. mean, he gets hurt bad with Rock. that uppercut. Right, right hand right lands hand. just drop. And his ability to recognize her, he jumps right to jujitsu. Once he hides that lock, it's over. He, I mean, he tapped he, right he, before he, he went tapped, to sleep. I think he tapped and then went out. O campeão se chama Charles Oliveira, o Charles do Bronx. The champion has a name, and it's Charles Oliveira from the Bronx. Charles Oliveira, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, incredible main event, obviously, uh, as long as it lasted back and forth. I mean, I guess what's your initial thoughts on, uh, like I said, a, a great main event? It was what I expected. It was what you expected. It was what we all expected. Um, Oliveira proved tonight, you know, he's the best, man. He really is. Is there any thoughts from you or, or the rest of staff on him, his status as champion, right? I mean, it's your belt. I mean, if you want to, if you want to give it to him, you can give it to him, right? And that's what you said, like when, when it was Ally Quinto was going to fight for it, and you're like, yeah, we don't care. If he beats the guy, we'll give him the belt. Well, so. Listen, he's the guy. I'm sure in, in the minds of the media and fight fans, Oliveira is the champion, you know? But technically, he's the number one contender now, you know? He's the, he's the guy. But clearly, whatever the next title fight is, he's on one half of it against. Hundred percent. If you were for for some reason to listen to your friend Joe's advice and make Makachev versus Oliveira, where, is there a potential for a Darius Chandler matchup? I haven't heard many people <laughs> speak about that. Is there? A, would you? Would that matchup interest you? I don't know, brother. Listen, who who doesn't think Darius and fucking Islam is a great fight? I mean, it's a fucking killer fight. I would love to see that fight to see who the number one contender is. But I'm not gonna lie. After tonight, I don't mind, you know, I'm like, I wouldn't mind doing Islam versus, you know, Oliver either. So we'll see what happens. We'll get in the, in the war room and argue about it and figure it out. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.